Hey, what's up, YouTubers? My name's Darren, and this is gonna be a quick overview of the project that I have nicknamed Frankenstein. Blower is a seven foot wide inland uh, models SA84. Looks like made by Miller. Uh, I was originally a three point tractor blower, which I have uh, modified and grafted to a Boss um, snowplow unit. I had to fabricate the, the mounting below to make it work, um, so it is quick to attach. Uh, I still have to do a little cleanup with the wires, but once it's done, it pretty much quick detaches just like a snowblower and obviously I got a couple extra hydraulic lines there I gotta disconnect uh, the snowblower or snowplow power pack obviously lifts and lowers the blower and it also provides the hydraulic power for the chute rotation when I got this blower it came uh, the chute deflector on here came with just a, a manual operation you had to get out and manually adjust it when needed so I added this electric linear actuator onto it. Uh, it was rated for outdoor use, but I didn't quite trust that. So I custom fabricated this uh, ABS cover to go over top of it just for a little extra protection. Light bar on the top is a Code 3 MX7000. It was originally a red and, light, red and blue unit that I uh, repurposed, uh, switched everything over to amber. I added amber LEDs to it. Um, so it's got the front spotlights. I got added back spotlights into it. Uh, back cargo lights. I tied my brake lights into. Uh, there's a couple of red lights in the back. So I got brake lights back there, and they also, when I engage the hazard flashers, the brake light portion flash with the hazard as well. Uh, in the back here, got a hydraulic tank holds approximately. Well, it holds over 55 gallons, somewhere between 55 and 60 between my, with my calculations. Custom fabricated that. Got a Ford uh, 4.9 300 cubic inch straight six motor. Uh, this was converted over to natural gas back in the 70s, I believe. So I had to convert it back to regular gasoline. There's an air tank in there. That's not part of the system. It's just in there. Uh, battery box for the power pack. Hydraulic fluid runs from the tank down this line. I got a drain port here into the hydraulic pump, which then pressurizes it, sends it into this valve unit. Uh, it's got an electric solenoid valve. So I control that in the cab. I didn't want to run high pressure lines into the cab and use a manual valve. So that goes up and once the weather gets nicer, I will be running these hoses underneath the truck. I just temporarily strung them. Uh, hydraulic filter and fuel cell for the, the engine itself. All right, if we go in the cab here, see we got the controls for the power pack engine and for the blower. Um, down here, we got light bar controls. This is a LED traffic director in the back window, which is pretty much blocked by the engine now. And just because I had it at the time, I decided to throw the siren unit in there too. Um, so it gives me an air horn function, which is about the only thing that's useful out of it, or could possibly yell at people if they're in the way of the blower or uh, something like that. Um, got a throttle here for the engine speed, obviously a switch, starter. Um, on and off switch for the dash lights, um, oil pressure, water temp, fuel level, voltage, tack. Uh, right here I got a speed sensor for the, the blower, which isn't quite hooked up yet. I have to put the, the sensor on the blower itself. Uh, and then here are the controls for the chute. Uh, 
up and down on the, the deflector angle, left and right for the chute, and then up and down on the blower itself. And then this is the main switch to turn the blower on and off. As you can see, the rotation on here is pretty quick. Uh, however, the, the electric actuator I have for the, the deflector angle is uh, relatively slow, but it gets the job done. Um, a hydraulic unit would be ideal, it would be quicker, but I didn't have any extra hydraulic ports to run that, so that's why I went with the electric option. And obviously there's the up and down on the blower itself. Thanks for watching my quick overview of Project Frankenstein. Uh, we'll plan to post more detailed videos in the future. If uh, there's any requests or you want to know more specific information, feel free to shoot me a message. If you like this video, go ahead and click that subscribe button. I have many projects on my list, uh, including a, a jet turbine engine built out of a turbocharger, and also I have some future plans for my 2013 Ford Taurus Police Interceptor Sedan. Thanks again for watching.